APNM or private banking had increased market exposure over the third quarter. What is your view for the fourth quarter of 2012? In a Benamro private banking, we think it's time to consider to move away from the safest corners of the asset allocation, such, such as cash, government bonds, and to move away in more risky assets. Because the real yield is the key differentiator factor. The cash and, and government bonds have negative real yield, and all the other assets that we are recommending have positive real yield. This is really the key differentiator. But the major element is essentially because the systemic risk has strongly abated. What are the reasons for this? Now we are seeing the European Central Bank coming into the fray, buying long-term bonds in peripheral markets. We are seeing also a political momentum within the European nation in order to really build a new Europe, a, a more a, a redefined union. And that's an element that will probably lift the risky assets because most of the investors have been away for a long time and there will be flow coming back in, in order to buy the, the assets that are undervalued. That's also the strategy that we want to, to push forward, but we don't want to be the last. What is the reason for ABN AMRO's overweight in real estate? We like real estate. We like the yield dimension of real estate. We want to avoid the most expensive part of the real estate. What we like is really the retail sector in the U.S. and also the rental sector, essentially for the yield reason. Why is the bank overweight on hedge funds? Two reasons for that. The first one is simply because it's a way to have access to a variety of skilled managers. For instance, if you look at, at event-driven uh, strategies, you can have strategies that investor cannot really access easily. And the second reason is really to have a hedge, an insurance against adverse results. Imagine that we are wrong with our strategies. CTA and macro strategy will really perform in a non-correlated way. Does ABN AMRO have any additional investment advice? I think it's important to be in the game. There is a big reflationary policy is going on uh, that will probably support risky asset because a lot of uh, action has been done on the monetary front. Also, we are seeing countries like China or Brazil putting in place huge infrastructure projects. This is really the thing that will shape the future of the new economy once we will finish the, the, the crisis. The end game is really a more sustainable growth and I think the investor should really start to position now with the value that is left after the crisis.